live from Real American Heroes Coffee Company. From Iraq tonight, we have an exclusive look at what has become the single most dangerous city in that country for U.S. forces. Insurgents and jihadists have found a home in Iraq's sprawling Anbar province and have turned it into a hotbed of violence. Lux Talionis. Life for an eye. Marco was born in Portland, Oregon at the Kaiser Permanente Hospital there on the Willamette River. And um, Mark came into our lives at a very dark time. Didn't look like there was any light at the end of the tunnel. You know, having three young kids by myself, no child support, you know, no father to come pick them up on the weekend, give me a break. But um, God knew exactly what we needed because Mark was literally a bundle of joy. That kid had such a crazy sense of humor from the time, you know, he was a little boy. So I think the first time that I remember Mark saying he wanted to be a Navy SEAL, he's probably in junior high school. And I think every junior high boy that watches some movie about Navy SEALs are like, I'm going to be a Navy SEAL. You know, they got to kick the doors down, blow things up. And so I didn't take him too serious. Then I noticed he started reading a lot of, you know, biographies about former Navy SEALs. And, I would notice his workout routine started being a little more intense. So he never had swim lessons and he'd go to the, the swimming pool and just start you know, swimming laps and kind of teaching himself. I'm like, oh, I wonder what's going on here. And that, that wasn't too long after that. Then he came home and had been at the Navy recruiting office and said, you know, mom, I just signed to go to the Navy. I got a contract to go try out to be a Navy SEAL. Too bad you don't make it. You do it again. Have you been tested this hard ever in your life? Never. Whatever you have to do, just find an excuse to win. Keep going. It pays for you win. Mark Lee joined our platoon uh, after we'd been working together for about six months. Right away, you could tell he had kind of a, a presence about him. You knew he was, he was a smart guy, a hard worker, a very strong Christian guy. His faith was very important to him. An hour west of Baghdad, terrorists hold the city of Ramadi in a deadly grip, fueling the insurgency and taking a terrible toll on the several thousand American troops who are trying to hold them at bay. In 2006, Ramadi was the worst part of Iraq. It's the capital of Al Anbar province, the biggest state in Iraq. It was a total war zone. We were facing in what I would deem as evil an enemy as the U.S. has, has ever faced. Ever faced. I actually went back with Mark and uh, went to the service. The close family and friends went and actually buried him, put our tridents into his casket. Um, yeah, put him, put him in the ground. So about two and a half weeks before Mark was killed, uh, he sent an email and there was probably about 12 or 13 people that were on that, that thread. And it was just, you know, cl close friends and family. And that letter is just absolutely amazing. The wisdom that comes from that young man at 28 is more than most people who've lived a full life. And because of that letter, I founded America's Mighty Warriors to make sure that our troops and the families who've given their very best for this nation, their loved one, know that we will never forget them. The main reason we made contact with Mama Lee was actually Kenny was uh, made ties with Mama Lee previously um, a few years back and they've had, a, they've had a relationship for a while. Kenny got us involved to, to do this event for, for Mama Lee for America's Mighty Warrior Foundation. And it was over at Scottsdale Gun Club and we were like, let's go, let's go do it. Let's go show our support for a great foundation um, for helping veterans. So we went there and, and we were introduced to Mama Lee and her whole foundation and everybody there. And it was just an awesome experience. And we're like seeing all these pieces of the puzzle. Uh, it was actually Gabe and I were actually at the event. He's another one of our owners. It's crazy because 
both Gabe and I have traveled to Ramadi. We've been to Ramadi in Iraq. We've been to the same places that Mark went to, just at a different time. Um, it was all in the same war, which is the Iraq war. Um, so we've been to the same steps that Mark went through. Once I found out through more research later that evening when I went home, you know, he grew up in the same town that I grew up in, which is uh, Hood River, Oregon. And it was like between us doing our time over in Ramadi for our deployments um, in Iraq, and then him coming from where I was from, which is Hood River, the two like, met hand in hand and we're like, we gotta do this blend. All right, what's up guys? Real American Heroes Coffee. I got my brothers here with me. We're super excited about this brand new partnership with America's Mighty Warrior Foundation. We're meeting with Mama Lee. We're gonna be doing a signature special custom blend for our guy, Mark Lee, man. He gave his life for our country, so we're gonna give back to him. You guys ready to go for this walkthrough? Let's, this. Let's go meet Mama Lee. Come on, guys. Another gold star flag. Hey guys, Hello. welcome to the Heroes Home Home. Good to see everybody. Come on in. Hey, thank, thank you. you. So this is what I call the Heroes Room. And there, I mean, it's like a little military museum. In wow. There. There's so much history. Uh, we've got Mark's uniforms up there, his boots, his swim gear. I love how you decorated the room. All these cool different pictures and everything you got, I'm sure, has a story to tell for everything. It's so bizarre to see your kid's name on a headstone or a memorial wall right. or in a movie or a book. Exactly. But when we've got heroes who did what Mark did, you know, their stories need to be told. People need to know who these guys are. You should have brought some drop-offers or some s'mores. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, the blend definitely became more personal at that point in time. It was like a... It was like an eye opener. It was like, what better blend to do on Mark Lee? Um, not only was he, you know, amazing individual, he was a, a real American hero. We are back here at Mama Lee's home in Phoenix, Arizona. As you can see, my partner Dave, we come bearing gifts. We got the brand new Mark Lee blend in the bag. It's the first time that it's ever going to be revealed and seen. So we're super excited about this blend. We hope you guys are too. And we're going to be blessing Mama Lee. She's going to get to see it firsthand. So let's go. Let's get it started. Follow us in. Superhero to me. He does. He is a superhero. Yeah. Not just yeah, looks exactly. like. But yeah, you nailed. You For captured real. him. Um, the the beans itself were actually roasted out in Hood River, where Mark was. Oh, was yes, yeah, so we found a we found a local yeah. roaster there. Yep. That is very cool. We were able we'll change that. Thank you for letting us do this. Yeah. 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 It means so much, you know, that you chose to honor Mark and this helps keep his legacy alive. Thank you so much. Well, we're honored to. Yeah. Thank you. you guys you know, nailed it with that. The Central All American way. Yes. <laughs> Glory is something that some men chase, and others find themselves stumbling upon, not expecting it to find them. Either way, it is a noble gesture that one finds bestowed upon them. My question is, when does glory fade away and become a wrongful crusade, or an unjustified means which consumes one completely? I have seen war. I have seen death. The sorrow that encompasses your entire being as a man breathes his last. I can only pray and hope that none of you will ever have to experience some of the things I have seen and felt here. To all my family and friends, do me a favor. Pass on the kindness, the love, the precious gift of human life to each other, 
so that when your children come into contact with a great conflict, like the one we are now faced with here in Iraq, that they will be people of humanity, of pure motives, and of compassion. This is our real part to keep America free. Happy Fourth. Love you, Mark Lee.